good day. I am bringing that into being. I also think I've been putting in enough work for it to be a good day. I took my morning super slowly. And I set myself up for success. I did everything I knew that would put me in a good mood. I put makeup on my face. I wore a pretty dress. Still don't brush my hair though. I may need to have another wedding in order to brush my hair ever again. I made myself what was meant to be an omelet, but ended up with scrambled eggs. I don't know how often you do that, but I do that when I'm when I'm cooking healthily. I do that a lot. If I'm cooking with a shit ton of butter and more butter, then it's fine. Then I am the omelet queen. But if I need to cook it with any semblance of health, then it turns into scrambled egg. Morning Show mit Ben Schröder und Timo Killer. Guten Morgen. Good morning. Am Tag nach dem Muttertag und ich hoffe, alle Mamas hatten gestern einen tollen Tag gehabt. Also eine Mutti. A good day. Also, almost always, includes a real ass German bakery. And some tea. New tea. Company budget tea. There's a graffiti wall, graffiti area near my office. And every time I drive to work, I pass it. And I think about how badly I want to stop and how badly I want to see the paint up close. And you know what? Days that you curate your own happiness are days that you stop, that you take your camera and you take photos of graffiti, of art, of anything that is just going to make your heart happy. I actually took photos of it because they have there's such like good texture and it's those layers I swear those layers I've actually right here really let me show you I have this book by Mark Bradford he's my all-time favorite artist and he yeah I'll show you I'll show you later but I think I'm gonna be making Mark Bradford inspired art today I'm still in my 
creative block. I've been talking about it with a few other artists and articulating what creative block is and what it means. Today, my artistic block means that I'm going to take some inspiration that I have found and I'm going to turn it into a zine. I've still not been able to art journal lately, but um, at the end of last week I made a zine and that worked out well, so I'm going to do that as well. This week is a short week, it's three days. Um, Thursday is a public holiday because it's Father's Day, I should you not. <laughs> yes, there was Mother's Day, no public holiday for that, nothing. But Thursday is a public holiday because it's Father's Day, not because it's just it coincides with another one. Um, actually, Mother's Day coincides with remembrance of the end of Second World War and Father's Day coincided with or coincides with Ascension Day, so also Germans celebrate Mother's Day with mothers looking after their kids and Father's Day with dads going cycling and getting drunk. So we refuse to celebrate German Father's Day around here. We just celebrate South African Father's Day. Uh, so today is a short week. It's three days long. I'm going to take it slow. I've got a few things to tie up, but I don't really have any pressing deadlines. It's beautiful. I love it when I do that to myself. And so I can take the public holiday and the Brooklyn Tag, which is like the, it's the Friday. If Thursday's a public holiday, then it's the Friday, the bridge day. I'm taking that day off. So yeah. It's going to be a good day. It's going to be a good day. Here's another step for a good day. <laughs> a new song by one of your new favorite artists paired with your old favorite artists. One that makes your heart beat. And I probably won't be able, I definitely won't be able to include the music, but you should go listen to it. It is incredible. I'm so excited. So yeah, good day coming. Good day, good day. I need it. Hey Google, play Oliver Tree and Blink on 82. <laughs> Play the album, Let Me Down on Spotify. I got no switch of button when it comes to thinking of you. I got no switch of button what to do. It's like my brain's been back down. I'm only thinking of you. It's like my brain's been back down. Right, so my plan today, my focus at the moment is my creativity. And while I'm waiting for the photos that I took this morning to go through, there are 133 of them. Uh, <laughs> I am replying to an email. So I got a really lovely email from Megan Firebonnet, who is the spunkiest lady. <laughs> like she is a lady on fire. Um, and so she sent me a question. And sometimes when when I get an email that's like kind of long with a long-winded question and one that I might like to talk about, just make a video. So I'm going to make a video replying to her. Um, and she's awesome and it's an awesome question. Good morning, <laughs> Megan. Um, I love, I love like getting the email, and so I want to make it. Okay, so I'm gonna get the photos that I took printed out. Here they are. I'm just gonna check through them and see. Let's see. Oh, they're good. Look at those colors. Oh, okay. I like that one. Don't like that one. I'm just gonna delete it. No, no. Oof, oof. I love it so much. Okay, these are not as artsy and creative as I thought that they were gonna be. So, but 
maybe for other purposes. Oh, look at that. Okay, that one's blurry. I think I want to print one with the color. Um, yeah, not also not as artsy as I thought it was gonna be. And oh man, look at oh look at that. Oh look at that. Oh, I love, I love that. Let's see which one. Um. Oh yeah, that one. That one or that one? That one. Okay. So I'm gonna bring it into Photoshop. A4. Oh yeah, look at that. And you know what? I was gonna change. Yeah, let me brighten it a bit. The printer always prints a lot. Oh man, look at that. Oof. Okay, so for the black one, I'm gonna do that. And I've got regular printer paper. I'm just gonna print it to that one, print settings. Yeah, I've got plain paper, but I do want to print it high quality. There we go. Let's see. Um, let's do borderless. Let's see if it works. I don't know, these borderless printers never print borderless. Okay, and which one did I like? I think I like this one. Oh, yeah. Okay, so... Oh. No, go away. This one? Or... Mm, I like that bit. That bit. Okay, wait. Let's look. This one? Or that one? See, they both got the same... Bits. Okay, 69 and 60. Mm. Okay, 60. Let's put 69 and 60 in. And 60. Where my layers at? There we go. You can be bigger. Actually, you. I want you to take. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. There's like. There's actual magic that happens when you crop things. Okay, yeah, there's no competition, the other one. Um, and I'm gonna add these curves to it. Beautiful, beautiful. And I'm gonna make it vibrant. Oof. Okay, that looks, that looks like <laughs> unrealistic. That is okay with the vibrance. Wait, let's delete, let's delete that guy and let's change the vibe. No, I deleted you. Go away. Okay, I'm going to change you here. Why would you go? Oh, man. Look at that. I love it. Oh. Photoshop. Ah, ooh, oh. Hello. Okay, that's a bit... Is that too much? Wait, what did I do? Let's see. Oh yeah, you definitely, let's make you 30. Okay, Oh, Okay, I'm gonna print this and then see. I reckon it's gonna be too much, but you know what? I'm gonna make quite blurry. Oh yeah, okay, and let's see. Do I want, nope, I want that. And I want it like that. So the nice thing with making zines is this is a crop, right? So this is a crop of the original photo, which is about that big. Um, and then when I make the zine, it's also going to be cropped. Okay, that doesn't do anything because it's black and white. Well, let's see. Let's see what it looks like. So I am extremely happy <laughs> with the way my printer printed these out. I just have an Epson XP8600 and I found it quite good. So yeah, this is regular printer paper um, and I'm going to use it to fold my zines. I want to show you the zine that I made last week because it is quite beautiful. So yeah, I'm on like a zine roll. I don't know if what, what's this? One, two, three four, five, six scenes is a roll, but yeah, it's a roll for me, considering <laughs> my creative block. But I made this baby and this baby last week, and then I made these 
recently for the Get Messy season of self. Um, but yeah, this guy, I like this guy because this guy, and I can't show you too much of it, but it represents, it represents coming home a bit to me. Like this, I feel like this is mine and I feel like, I, f I feel like I'm coming home a bit, like a little bit. You know, when you're in an artistic drought, small things make you feel like you're coming back home. And this one is that for me. So anyway, so we're gonna make a zine. Um, and I'm gonna add it to my little swan. And then, and then we're gonna be happy. <laughs> I wanna share the way that I make zines. If you're not part of Get Messy, um, I did the season of self, I did a bunch of zines and I taught the way that I do zines, which is basically as one sheet of paper and then I fold it up and then I finish it up and then it's out. I know that there are a huge variety of ways that people make scenes. Um, that's just my way. Even the way that I fold is different. Even the fact that it's only on one side is different. But yep, I have fun this way and that's the way I'm gonna do it. So if you wanna make a scene, feel free to do it this way um, or do it maybe the <laughs> correct way. It's all completely up to you as long as you are creating. And the thing that I like about this way is that once you fold it right, like I was saying, you're cropping again. So you've cropped it when you printed it to the size or, you know, if you're adding art supplies and stuff, you're making it a new size too. But this, now like each little rectangle is a page. So, you know, like that is gonna be a page and oof, like yeah, I hardcore, like that, that little detail. This is so cute and this is so beautiful. And so I think it's kind of like your, this is the big, like this is the bird's eye view, but when you make scenes, you're kind of finding those tiny details and the beauty in them. I, this is more my speed and more my color palette. I really don't make with bright color palettes and so I don't know what I'm gonna do there. Probably gonna use some gesso. But yeah, this one, oh, look at that. And I think I took away a lot of this texture when I brightened it up. But man, is this gorgeous. I love this. I, I wanna tattoo this all over myself, all over my face. And I don't know, you see, that's the other thing is I don't really plan the way it's going to look um, and the way it's going to crop, but I love all of it. I love each of it. Okay, so I'm gonna make my zine now and I'm gonna leave it like this. I'm not gonna cut it usually, I'll cut in a line, but I think I wanna use my typewriter and so it's usually easier. This one, let me show you. This one, I put in my typewriter after I had cut it, not that guy. And let me just show you this page, like one of the page, it ruined one of the page. Yeah, this like, it just tore this completely. To be fair, I was putting it in like this. And you know, like with this piece of acetate and all these folds and the fact that I am, have no idea how to use the typewriter, I just know what I like. Didn't end up that good, but I love it. I love it. While we are waiting for those to dry, I wanna show you Mark Bradford's end papers. Get ready. <laughs> this is my all time favorite. Look at that. Look at it.
The first scene felt a bit like pushing myself. I was using colors that I don't usually use. In fact, I barely ever use any <laughs> color. Second one felt more like me. And I hadn't stopped thinking about that conversation I had with Megan through email and video. We spoke about something called psychological reactance. Psychological reactance occurs when a person feels like something is taking away their choices. It's what happens when someone tells you to do something and just because they told you to do it, you don't want to do it. If it is important, it is helpful to find a way to make it mine. Psychological react. A weakness becoming a strength. And I think that this goes for all kinds of creative blocks. I think that this goes whenever we are creating a day that is filled with happiness and setting everything in place to encourage that happiness, to encourage that creativity, to keep showing up for the muse. And even when we mess up our zine. Guess what? We can unmess it up. And we can try again. And we can keep showing up. <laughs> 